Hi, my name is Grant Kramer and I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. Soil analysis is very important to understand the nutrition of your vineyard. The first year you do that before you start the vineyard. In the second year, which we are in now, we do it to reevaluate the soil and see how our practices from last year have impacted our grapevines this year. So first, in this video, we'll talk about soil analysis. In the next video, we'll talk about petiole analysis, what the plants are actually absorbing. My Backyard Vineyard, Season 2, Episode 5, Soil Sampling and Analysis. Today, I will be talking about soils, soil analysis, how to do it, and how to analyze it. Let's look at the soil sampling procedure. First, you collect approximately 15 to 20 samples from each of your vineyards at the perimeter of the vine basin, in my case. So to take a soil sample, I'm going to dig a hole near the vine, hopefully not digging into the roots too much and damaging the vine. I want to dig down at least six inches into the soil, like so. I am using this shovel just to loosen the soil, and then I'm going to remove the soil with this chrome-plated trowel. First, I'll remove the top three inches of soil to not use that soil because I want to analyze deeper down at a depth of between three and six inches. And it is this soil sample that I'm going to keep and put in the Ziploc bag and mix with other soil samples for the final average soil analysis of the vineyard. So soil samples were collected from the three to six inch layer, avoiding the surface soil. And they were loosened with a shovel and collected with a chrome plated trowel to avoid contamination from the shovel. Multiple samples were combined until two pounds of soil were collected and placed into a plastic one gallon Ziploc bag. The bags were left open to air dry before sending in a Ziploc manner in a box. I had the samples sent to ANL Western Laboratories to be analyzed. The analysis took about two weeks and was sent back to me by email in this graphical soil analysis report. There are a few surprises in my soil analysis. I think you're going to find it very interesting. I like this graphical analysis compared to earlier reports because it makes it easier to see which nutrients are low and which nutrients are high. The very low are down at the bottom and high are way up at the top. Let's look at the results. We can see on the left hand side that the nitrogen content of the soil is very low. Phosphorus is in the medium category. Potassium is low, as we discovered last year. However, this soil analysis was done prior to me supplementing my soils with potassium and confirms that potassium was indeed low in the soil. Magnesium and calcium are in the medium category. Sodium is low, that's a good thing. Sulfur is quite high, but that was because I sulfured the soil last year to acidify the soil. Zinc and manganese are micronutrients. Iron is also a micronutrient. Copper and boron are also micronutrients. Chloride was not analyzed. The fact that all of these micronutrients were low was rather surprising to me as I was only expecting iron deficiency because of the high pH in the soil from last year and the fact that we had treated the vines and they had responded to iron treatment. The iron is medium or adequate because I have acidified the soil and we can see that the pH on the right hand side here has come down to 7.1. Last year it was at 7.8. The micronutrients are quite low and of concern, but let's wait until we do the petiole analysis to see if the plants have had trouble absorbing those nutrients. This may complicate the analysis as originally I just thought I had an iron deficiency. This soil analysis is from what I call the right vineyard. 
Now let's take a look at the left vineyard. We see almost identical results. The pH has been lowered to 7.1. The soil has low nitrogen, low potassium, and low micronutrients as seen in the right vineyard. Soil fertility guidelines that are at the bottom of the figure state that nitrogen, potassium, zinc, and boron should be added to the soil. But let's wait until we have the results back from the petiole analysis to confirm. So in summary, these soil analyses have proven very useful, identifying that nitrogen, potassium, and some micronutrients were deficient in the soil. It also identified that the sulfur treatments from last year did indeed acidify the soil, which should improve the micronutrient availability in the future. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then like it on my YouTube channel. There are other videos like this one that I think you will find interesting. Have a great day.